Well, I had to give praise when praise is given. I think I already gave praise to one Russell Westbrook earlier this week. Uh, But he's going to get some praise again because he has reached the 25,000 point mark as of last night against the Detroit Pistons scoring 23 points and nine assists off the bench. Uh, He got the game ball. There was one thing I noticed actually when I saw the interview, post-game interview you had with the Clippers uh, reporter. They panned the camera across Little Caesars Arena, I think it is, where the Pistons play at. Um, and many of the people, because there was plenty of, there was still people still in the stands uh, videotaping prior to the pictures of Russ's interview. And a lot of them had a Russ jerseys on from either his UCLA days Thunder days. I don't know about Laker days, but I saw uh, I might have saw Rockies and Clippers jerseys out there. So that tells me out there that he still has a fan base that still uh, cheers and um, honors him. And uh, it was the same thing in Washington as well, too. But he played in Washington. So there was still going to be some leftover fans from there, probably. Uh, Washington was actually one of his best years. Actually, it was was the last time Washington went to the playoffs. It's actually the last time Washington actually won a game in the playoffs. But anyways, uh, but congratulations to Russell Westbrook. Uh, Hard work, put hard work in and get these type of results. He's uh, 25 for other 24 players that have scored uh, 25,000 points and above. This is a lot to think about. Uh, I think that number is right, 25th. But um, I'm starting to, in the comment section of the video I was watching, I see the hate he's still getting. People are like in the comment section, oh, ho, 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 big deal. He scored 25,000 points. Can you can you score 25,000 points, my guy? Can your flavor, favorite player do it? That's not, and he probably is a LeBron James fan. But um, there's still hate out there for him. And then people are mentioning James Harden. Talked about uh, nobody's talked about the Clippers ever since James Harden has got to 10 and been successful. Well, well, from what I've seen so far, because I'm able to watch him a couple of times, either on TNT or when he had played the Lakers in the past. James Harden looks better. Uh, he even looks better on defense a little bit. But uh, here's the thing. They got to do something in the playoffs. James Harden does, and as a organization for the Clippers, they have to, um, because we know their history of sadness in the last fifteen something years. Um, this is like the third iteration of this team since the Lob City days, I think. But anyways, um, they got to do something in order for more praise to be held, because regular season we've seen this before. It's what you do in the playoffs is when you get praise. So, yeah, it ain't going to be much praise until James Harden gets to the finals again with the Clippers and nobody else gets injured. Uh, but I wanted to mention uh, what uh, Patrick Beverly said, because I heard some other fellow YouTubers say some made videos about this, that now Patrick Beverly and Russell Westbrook are on the Philadelphia 76ers and the Los Angeles Clippers. Both teams are, I think, Sixers are fifth in the East now. I think they dropped some. But the Clippers are third in the West. And Patrick Beverly said they are on better teams and mean integral parts of their teams as role players. Well, Patrick Beverly was always a role player, but Russ in this new position, sacrificing his um starting spot to come off the bench for the betterment of the team. While the Lakers are over there, well, well. You know what's going on with the Lakers. But, hmm, hmm, Russ doesn't seem to be the issue here. Russ ain't the vampire. But I know some people still ain't going to give Russ his credit for reasons I don't know why. Um, out, this, The funny thing about the hate towards Russ, yes, he has turnovers. He has had some turnovers. But as a... 
I don't agree with him wearing kilts, but outside of wearing kilts and some of the sometimes fiery responses in post game, where sometimes some of these reporters be asking stupid questions, and he deserves a smoke. But outside of the turnovers and wearing the kilt and dresses and um, some of the uh, dire responses he has towards the reporters, what has Russ really done? to gain such of gain such of a uh, um hostility towards him that's the part i don't get that's the part i was missing um yeah he will make mistakes in basketball make turnovers but i just never understood it at all and when russ gets praised people get so triggered by it like i said before i don't get it um when it comes to James Harden, James Harden forced his way off the off two three teams already in a rather despicable fashion, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. The only people who really call him on on that is me and some others. But anyways, congratulations to Russell Westbrook on twenty five thousand points. And um it's probably my last video of the weekend. I'll be back on Monday because the stuff I'm seeing about Jordan once again, Michael Jordan, outside of what Rasheed Wall said about him not being a great defender. Uh, I know there's been talk of Jordan's opponents in the finals have not been spectacular or weren't great. But I've been watching, once again, I'll say this once again, I've been watching um, condensed versions of all the finals games Jordan's playing in, brought to you by Free Dawkins. Check out that channel. That's a big channel with two, two, two million subscribers. And they've been posting content. He or they have been posting content like crazy on this. But yeah, I'm going to talk about that on Monday. So anyways, peace out, y'all.